I came, when I heard of the news yesterday, of the very sad news that happened uh, with yourself and your wife being involved in an accident, I think your son was in my home not too long ago. He's uh, someone I know very well. So when I had the call, I said I had to come down to come and see the situation of things and how you were doing. And that's why I came down yesterday. Then I learned that you were in hospital at that time. Thank God that you are here with us today. But unfortunately, your wife was not as lucky as you were. And that really saddens me. You know, this is a political period. Um, as you know, everybody is rushing around, driving around. And you know, I, I was told that there was a convoy that came and hit yourself and your wife. And funny enough, a lot of us have driving convoys during this time. And I know for a fact that every time they're speeding in the car, I'm always saying slow down, slow down, slow down. Especially when you're passing through townships and villages and cities. When you're not on the expressway, you're not supposed to be driving like you're on the expressway. And of course, you're supposed to adhere to rule the regulations of the road. Meaning you don't take one way, you don't go on the other side of the road because casualties can occur and sometimes it ends up in fatalities as it has today. But what I want to just tell you is that our prayers are with you and not only our prayers, we're going to be here to support you every step of the way. Um, nobody can bring back your wife. So this is a very sad time for you and your family. When I came yesterday, your daughter here was, as in, she was in, in, inconsolable, you know, and so was he. And I'm happy that today at least is a new day, and by the special grace of God, you're getting some sort of strength. Um, so I ask and urge you to just hold on to the memories that you have, pray for her. This was not sickness that took her away. This was something that was avoidable. And that's what is so painful about it. This was an avoidable um, occurrence. You know, and sometimes we have to be careful. Accidents do happen, but not when one is reckless. And therefore, this has happened. Um, let me just say once again, thank God for your life. And I know that all of you will get strength of each other. At least children, you have your father here today. I know of people that have lost their whole families in accidents. I know of people that have lost several people in accidents. You know, one life is one too many. But at the same time, we have to say thank God. And um, let us just, you know, pray for her soul to rest in perfect peace. And, you know, um, just know that we're, we're here with you, and I, I'm indeed very sorry about this uh, occurrence. Um, I don't know if we can just hear from you. Thank you, Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you. Actually, it was true that what I did is happened. I was never here for September. 2020. It was towards uh, evening time because I've already returned from the meeting which I went with my wife. As I arrived here, parked my car, or dress, the dresses.